Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous sessions of HTML, we have seen the basic tags and also the formatting tags. So in today's session, we will see one more concept that is list. So how to display the list? So basically this list consists of two tags, one is unordered list and ordered list. So what is the difference between this unordered list and ordered list? So coming to this unordered list, the data will be like this, that means so the symbols, instead of using the numbers, we will use the symbols. So for example, star, csc, let us display the branches, okay, star, ece, -E, star, triple e. So we are listing the data by using some symbols. So here we use symbols. So in our HTML, what are the symbols? So we, we can have a circle, a disk, or a square, or a none. None means nothing will be displayed. Circle will be, a round circle will be displayed. Disk means round, solid round. And a square will be solid square. Right? So these are the symbols we use in order to implement this unordered list. Coming to this ordered list, the numbering will be given. So we use numbers, alphabets, etc. Numbers, alphabets, etc. So that means here we use either 1 or capital A, a small a, Roman character, I mean Roman number and a small i. So let it be 1, 2, 3, etc. Capital A, capital B, capital C, etc. A, B, C, etc. Roman numbers 1, 2, 3, etc. Small i. So in this way also we can represent the data. So if we, we represent the data by using these types that we call it as an ordered list. That means we are giving either numbering or alphabets. So if we are implementing the data or we are uh, implementing the data by using these kind of symbols, then we call it as an unordered list. Now, what are the syntax for creating this unordered list and ordered list? So we will have a tag called UL. UL stands for unordered list. And here we have to implement an attribute called sty is equal to list hyphen sty hyphen type colon and you can write either circle, disk, square or none. If you write a circle, then all the content will be displayed by using circle. So this is the tag. And to write this content, we call it as li tag. We will use the li tag. Li tag is for list item. List item. So whatever the data we are writing, that should be written in between this li, li tag. So how many lines we have to print in this unordered list, that many li's should be written. So li, csc, close the li tag. If you want to include one more line or one more data, one more list, li. So here I am writing three branches and after writing the list items, close the unordered list. So slash ul. So this is a small syntax for creating unordered list. So here this circle can be disk, 
square or num anything right so coming to this ordered list same the, for, the, the syntax is same but here we will use ordered list syntax that is o l o l stands for ordered list ordered list followed by attribute type is equal to capital a you have to enclose the quotations again the same thing list item in order to list the item we have to write li tag so list all these branches in between the li tag li li triple and close the ordered list slash ol so this is a small code for creating the ordered list so when it's very simple for an ordered list the tag is ul and for ordered list the tag will be ol and here the common thing in both this ordered and order unordered list is the list item so whatever the data we are representing in form of list we have to write in li tag in between the li tag list item so ul stands for unordered list ol stands for ordered list li stands for list item right so again we can use the formatting tags in between this li so you can use a font tag bold italic underline strike strong superscript subscript so whatever the tags we have seen in the previous session those tags can be applied on this font that means in between this li tag right so hope you understood this simple concept and now we will see the implementation on computer hello friends we have seen the ordered list and in ordered list just now so we will see the implementation part of ordered list and in ordered list so in order to implement these uh, html tags we required one web browser and the text editor so here i am using the notepad as a text editor to write the html tags now let us write the implement this ordered and unordered you know unordered list so all the html tags the should be written in between this html starting tag and ending tag so in the heading let us write the title lists and close the head now open the body and in between the body tags we have to write the ordered list and an ordered list so let us write the font uh, h1 first let us implement an ordered list on ordered list h1 so for this we have seen the tag for unordered list is ul ul next we have to use a style attribute style list hyphen style hyphen type colon here we can give circle or disk or square or none so we will see one by one and all the items should be written in in between the li tag so let us take the branches li li write the next one li li means list item and after writing these branches cross the unordered list so save the file u list dot html or we can write a list dot html now open the list dot html so here uh, we can see the list in unordered that means without any numbering so here we have given the style type as a circle so circle so csc circle csc circle ece circle triple c now 
let us implement the font tag font size is equal to from 15 and let us close here the font refresh CSC EC and triple now let us change this circle as square if you refresh the numbering the bullets are squares next if you write here disk so we will get a disk so that means a solid circle and if you write none nothing will be displayed only the text will be displayed here CSE, EC and triple. So this is called an unordered list. So hope you understood this one. Next, we will go with ordered list. So just I will copy everything. So I So let us write an ordered list here. So for ordered list, it is OL. And the attribute is not a style, it will be type. Type is equal to in the quotations, we can write a capital A. Ordered list, close the ordered list. So save this one, right. see ordered list A, B, C, so let us decrease the font so that uh, A, C, S, C, B, E, C, E, C, triple E, right. So, if you replace A with 1, we will get 1, 2, 3. If you replace here with a small a, we will get small a, small b, small c. And if you replace with a Roman i, the Roman numbers will be here, 1, 2, 3. And if you replace with a small i, the numbering will be like this. 1, 2, 3, right. So here, in order to print the unordered list, the tag is UL. So whatever the items we are writing, that must be written in between the LI tag, list item tag. And for, uh, for implementing the ordered list, the tag is OL and the same should be followed. That means we have to write all the list items in between LI tag. And there, in the unordered list, the attribute is style. And there we can write none, square, disk or circle. In ordered list, we can write the type as small a, capital A, numerical and everything. Roman numbers and a small i like this, we can write different types of ordered list. So hope you understood this ordered list and unordered list. So let us stop here. So if you are having any doubts, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that I will definitely try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really understood my sessions, like my sessions, share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much.